Okay, for this super cheap build, I'm using a paint bucket. Go check your shed, go ask a friend. Go to a construction site, you'll find a bucket. You can always buy one from a hardware store, but you're not gonna do this for under five bucks unless you can find a cheap bucket. Next, 45 degree angled PVC pipe. I'm not a plumber, but this cost me 75 cents each and I need two of them. Glue gun. If you don't have a glue gun, you can use glue. If you don't have glue, use silicon. Honestly, all you need is something to make the hole sealed when you connect the pipes and a drill with a drill bit, or you can use a hand saw. I'm using this because it's a little bit quicker. Flip your bucket on its side. Grab a texter or a Sharpie. I'm sure you've got something laying around. Grab your 45 degree angle place it anywhere. There is no mathematical science to this. We just have to place it somewhere near the top. I'm going to place mine about there. Grab your texture and draw around it. Always take care when drilling plastic on a curved surface. There's a high chance the drill bit can slip, so keep your hands away from that. Marking the locations for the pipe isn't really necessary, but it's a good way to get a visual understanding of where the pipe will sit. My drill bit wasn't quite large enough, so I used a curved file to clean up the hole and make it a little bigger. For the lid, I cheated a little bit and used a sharp knife just so the process will be a little bit quicker. It's important to note you must push the pipe in from the inside of the bucket and be really heavy with your glue. Whether it be from a glue gun, from super glue or silicon, just use a lot of it, it's really cheap and it'll seal up the hole really nicely. Looking back on this project, a 45 degree angled pipe isn't necessary for the lid, but it does help angle the hose a little bit towards my dust collector. Okay, the reason why we grab 45 degree angle pieces is because we want the airflow to come in on an angle and circle around. It's not rocket science. Goes in, circles around, comes out from the top. Let's give it a few tests. Okay, set up. Get a piece of pipe, place it over your inlet. This pipe is super tight for this, so it might take me a sec to put on. Done. Now the pipe that leads to your shop vac, place it over the top. For this test, I'm using 100 grams of mixed dust. This is from my table saw, from my planer, and from my mitre saw. So the plastic container itself weighed 22 grams. Now we can place the dust on the scales. We have a reading of 119. So this little cyclone is about 97% efficient. So there you have it. Probably the cheapest cyclone on YouTube. If you use your head, you could make this for a dollar fifty that's what it cost me if you go and buy all the materials and if you have to buy a drill and you have to buy a file yes it's going to cost more but you got to think about it you can buy a cyclone kit for north of 75 dollars and you still have to assemble it yourself 
you could make this in less time than it takes to assemble one of those kit versions you've just purchased. So I cannot recommend this enough. I'm happy with 96% efficiency, honestly, going from nothing at all and clogging up my filter. So yeah, get in the shop, make one of these guys, let me know what you think in the comments, and I will see you in the next video.